Number two, recognize vertical angles to find each measure. So if we're looking at angle A, angle A for the vertical angles means to go across. So angle A is a vertical angle with 55 degrees. For angle B, we're going vertical angles, which is here, which is 65 degrees. Number four, recognize alternate interior angles to find each measure. So angle C, we're looking at this one. We want the alternate interior angle. The alternate interior angle is B. They are on opposite sides of the line. So B is 65 degrees, so C is 65 degrees. Angle D. For angle D, we're looking at the opposite side, which is 60, so D is 60 degrees. Six, use same side interior angles to find the measure. Angle E. Looking at angle E, we know that D is 60, so we know that this is a straight line. Straight lines have to equal 180 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 60 degrees equals 120 degrees. Number seven. Use corresponding angles to find the measure of angle F. Angle F is the same as angle 60 because they make the same angle mark. So F is 60 degrees. Number eight. Lines P and Q are parallel. Give three ways to reason that angles 1 and 7 are congruent. So angles 1 and 7. We're first going to say they are alternate interior angles. Angle 1 and angle 7 are alternate interior angles. That's one way. The second method would be to say that 3 and 7 are corresponding and 3 and 1 are vertical. Angles 3 and angle 7 are corresponding and then the third one angle 3 and angle 1 are vertical.